like a, a couple more rounds on CT. And uh, a lot of those clutches rounds, like when existing car would have to rotate over from B, would have uh, been a lot easier on them. They would have been 2v1s uh, instead of 2v2s or 2v3s. Though I might not have actually mattered on the score because in that scenario, then SK wouldn't have been in the in the situation of letting their foot off the gas at all. They would have still been in the game, you know. Okay, let's. Even though it's going to be played tomorrow at eleven o'clock, let's just look like briefly ahead towards the upper bracket final because it's going to be the match that a lot of people expected. SK versus Navi, but it's going to be on Nuke. So, like, basic thoughts here. Well, I mean, the obvious, obvious thing is the match is going to be on Nuke, which sucks for Navi. But the map rotation, I believe, has been out for like a little bit, and Navi must uh, must remember last year's game Goon, where they dropped out in third place after dropping Nuke twice in the tournament. So, I mean, you gotta you gotta figure they have at least put in like some serious practice on the map here. But at the same time. We talked about storylines yesterday for this event, and one of the things where, like, is if SK can still continue beating Navi, if they you could actually consider them to be a better team than Navi now. But I'm not actually sure if SK. I don't think SK beating Navi on Nuke just gives them that credibility just yet. Yeah, I, I think Navi's been trying to up their Nuke game. Uh, whenever they've gone to any of the local, like uh, Eastern European lands, I think they've been. Picking Nuke on purpose, even versus FX, even even in the finals, they picked that, I believe, or at least didn't veto it, which they could have. So I I, re I really think that they've been trying to improve their Nuke. Um, I still don't think it's on a top level to beat SK because SK has been a phenomenal Nuke team. Get right in Force being top five Nuke players in the world uh, in 2010, but. I think the weakest point of SK is Delpan. He doesn't really fit in on Nuke. He ops a lot on almost every map. And uh, Nuke, he can't really do that effectively. What I think is quite interesting, actually, about see, getting to see Navi finally play Nuke, like in a bunch of tournaments in a row, is the fact that if it turns out that... no, I mean, Navi have already had a solid six months where, like, they pretty much... I'm guessing at least three or four of those months they've been trying to get good at Nuke, they've been trying to improve it. So it would be almost unheard of for like an all-time great team, which has actually been practicing the map, to be completely incapable of being good or at least like above average on Nuke. Because every single great team was usually actually really good at Nuke, or like it was one of their top two or three maps. So it would it would probably say something quite strange about the composition of Navi, which on certain maps seems like almost the perfect team to be incapable of winning on Nuke. So do you guys actually, do you guys assume SK is just gonna, like it's not really gonna run over, but do you assume SK is gonna get like a somewhat comfortable win over Navi? I feel like they should. They should like, I, I feel like if SK really is the best team in the world and, and Navi's worst map is Nuke, it should be an easy win. But I mean, it's obviously Navi, and they are probably fighting for their best spot in the world too. And I mean, both teams are going to be trying as hard as possible. All right, so I'm not actually sure which game we would be doing next. Uh, are we going to do any match before Isahara against Fnatic? Like, are we are we looking to do Isahara against Existence while while waiting for the Isahara Fnatic game? Which I guess is the main question. Since I assume we're still going to do that game today. Thoughts? Take it, Corey. Are, are they playing these match? Are they playing all these matches today? Yeah, th there's still two rounds left. So basically, are we going to do the e existence Izahara, which is going to start in like 12 minutes, and then uh, then the winner against Fnatic, or are we just going to take a break until that match? How am I supposed to sleep? Um, you'll get like 10 hours after these two games. <laughs> and then my sleep is going to be terrible. Well, to be fair, you were going to stay up to watch these games anyway. So one, one or two more hours is not really going to make a difference. Tommy, 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 Tommy. So... Well, well, I mean, I figure we can probably just do that match. Is, and does anybody else want to take a break? Because I feel like if I just sit down, sit around for an what hour. What time is it going to be? 
It's going to start in like 20, uh, no, 10 minutes. Because I feel like if the I sit The thing is, Paulie said that he wanted to take a break now. So I don't know if that means that he wants a break or he just thought there wasn't any more games. I'll ask him. So let's just freestyle for five minutes. He asked me if I He says he doesn't mind. So it's up yeah, to you guys. I don't mind. Well, I feel like we'd probably be better off doing that game. Because if we take like, if we take an hour off now, I feel like we're all just going to be really sleepy for that last game. Yeah, we can do it. I don't care. All right, so let's take like a ten-minute break, at least like a five-minute break, and we'll be back for the existence Izahara game on Dust Two in the lower bracket. 